Hey, 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 welcome back to another Tech Support Spy video. As always, thank you so much for joining me and watching this video and supporting Tech Support Spy. Uh, still a little bit under the weather, but uh, this is the second video I got posted out today uh, that I'm trying to put together even when I'm feeling under the weather. I'm still trying to produce and put together content for you guys. Uh, so I do appreciate you guys watching and do appreciate everyone that is supporting Tech Support Spy. Uh, for this here, uh, if you have ever thought about how you can start to learn certain software, whether it's Windows 11, Windows, uh, if you want to look at Windows 10, even if you want to go back and remind yourself about Windows 7, you want to learn certain things about the Mac, you want to learn uh, Linux, at least kind of start yourself to, you know, scratch the surface a little bit on learning certain software, browsers, emails. Uh, even smart TVs. If you want to look at how to set up smart TVs, if you don't know how to do that, there is a website that can help you uh, learn or at least start to show you how to use certain software and devices, right? And I don't think there's any video, <coughs> excuse me, any video out there on YouTube that talks about this website. Um, and I'm surprised no one has, especially some of the the computer and technology uh, uh, YouTube channels out there, you know, remember Tech Support Spy is for those who are non-tech savvy. We're trying to show you how to become tech tech savvy with our content and channel. But and and this website is is not promoting this video or not sponsoring this video at all. I mean, we have so many different you know websites and and software and things that you can use, and none of those those websites or software uh, manufacturers or distributors are, will end up sponsoring any of our videos. So we have so much that we wanna share with you guys, but one of the things I wanna share with you is this website called chasms.com. Uh, and you're right, you said chasms, but it starts with C-H. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, chasms, C-H-A-S-M-S.com, but it's supposed to be pronounced, supposedly, as chasms.com and I'm pretty sure chasms would probably say yes this is how it's supposed to be pronounced but it's chasms.com for those who you know or rather just call it chasms.com it's it's either or chasms or chasms but it should be pronounced chasms.com and if you go to the website you can see the website in our description if you go to the website you will see there's a list of multiple things that you can learn so if you want to learn Windows 11 Right, you click on Windows 11, and it gives you basically a emulator. Uh, and if you never heard of what an emulator is, an emulator is uh, basically it's a, a program that can emulate something. So if I want to emulate Windows XP, right, I can do that by you know basically emulating or mirroring Windows XP, and I can have it you know within a website and show it to you and and have you emulate. Uh, uh, Windows XP, you are a Windows XP lover, but this gives you an idea of how to use Windows 11. So it gives you highlights, kind of like a, a tutorial. So if you click on the start menu, and click on the start menu, the start menu options open up. And if you need to go back, just hit the, the back arrow in your browser and go back to the previous screen. It has a highlighted for File Explorer from Windows 11. If you click on that, File Explorer comes up, so it gives you an emulator of how to use File Explorer. You need to go back with the back arrow, right? If you want to click on these things here, it kind of gives you a highlight of what you can click on to see what comes up in those certain areas. If you want to look at the Mac, you got the Mac OS, uh, Monterey, Catalina. If you want to look at that, let's take a look at Catalina. It gives you certain things you can click on within Catalina. Uh, if you don't like that, then you go ahead and go back. If you get back to this page here, you look at Ubuntu 1504. It shows you Ubuntu here for the desktop and gives you the highlights of what you can click on to see what you can learn, what's in those certain areas. And then you can go click on chat, uh, chasms.com or just hit the back arrow and go back until you get back to this, this screen here. And you look at email. You want to look at how to lose Outlook. You can click on that or Windows Webmail. Click on that. Thunderbird. I don't know if anybody remember Thunderbird. Thunderbird. I like that. Thunderbird is an old um, email client application or software. We we'll look at browsers: Safari, Chrome. You know, uh, Microsoft Edge, 
security of certain security software if you get mcafee or if you get the microsoft security essentials it shows you how to use microsoft security essentials smart TVs or smartphones your uh, iPhone iPhone s13 or Samsung Galaxy you want to see how that works it gives you options of how that works Let's click on uh, chasms.com it goes back to this screen here TVs if you want to look at a, a Vizio smart TV or our Amazon fire stick right you can shows you how to use the Amazon fire stick you gotta click on certain things here your videos or TV shows all right and then if you click on chasms.com or hit the back arrow if you get back to the screen here then you can get back to the screen here so remember when you get back to the home page you want to make sure you have all the different options at the top that's when you know you're back to the home page even it even has emulators for you know the playstation 4 right it doesn't have a playstation 5 but at least that's a playstation 4 it kind of shows you how to use that all right so this is a link that you can definitely use to kind of just start yourself to kind of look at just the, the layout of these different software programs that you use across the world. Whether it's Linux, Mac, Windows, email uh, applications, browsers, security software, networking, smartphones, TVs, gaming consoles, has other links, modems, CC Cleaner, Chromebook. They even have certain forms. If you need to go to a certain form, and you need to post a certain question about something, you can sign up for the chasms.com form and be able to uh, post a question about the software, right? Uh, and if you look down at the bottom here, they always have certain technology news and information here on their website. And uh, chasms.com has been around for, I think they said they've been around for like 20 something years. It's here, yeah. Chasms.com is 25 years old. Although under new management, chasms.com has been around for 25 years. This is an incredible success over two decades of helping millions of people around the world learn different software programs. So, you know, claps to chasms.com. You know, I come across this, from a, I came across this, I gotta speak uh, better English, but <laughs> I came across ch uh, chasms.com some years ago doing tech support. And I keep up with chasms.com all the time. There's new programs, new software, new operating systems out there. Eventually, chasms.com will have the emulator for that software. So, a uh, quick nugget for you guys. Uh, go to chasms.com. C-H-A-S-M-S.com or chasms.com, however you look at it. It's supposed to be pronounced chasms, but go to chasms.com and just play around with it. Play around with it. You know, as you go through certain things with it, you know, play around with it, see how far you can get. Um, and hopefully, and it should, give you some familiarity on that particular software program or application or operating system. Hope this helps you. Uh, I didn't have any good jokes. Still feeling a little bit under the weather. <laughs> so that part of me uh, just is not coming out. But I hope you enjoy this video. I hope this gave you some input. As always, share this video, share all of our videos where everyone like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. Tech support. Bye.